Is it gonna rain? No. It looks like it's gonna rain. It's overcast. It's not usually what it is before it rains. Yes. But in this case, it's not gonna rain till later today. If it rains, please remember to change the opening line. It's not gonna rain till one, maybe two o'clock. Yeah, but if you're wrong, you gotta change the opening line. I'm not getting this from morning drive time radio, Toby. I'm getting this from First Lieutenant Emily Lowenbrow, the U.S. Coast Guard, who would not let me down because she has a very, really, a very comforting voice. Okay, here's my thing. If you're wrong, if the Coast Guard is wrong, the remarks open with, as I look out over this magnificent vista, if the event gets moved indoors, he will no longer be looking out over a vista of any kind. Do you honestly think he can't change that on his feet? Do you honestly think that the president doesn't know where he is when he's given a speech? This isn't a major policy address, Sam. This is five minutes in front of the United Organization of Trout Fishermen. I'm saying if it gets moved inside. I got this from the U.S. Coast Guard. I got this from the National Weather Service. They use satellites. They use technology. This is the same satellite technology we use to detect intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? Yeah. All right, then. We should move the thing inside. Sam says it's probably not going to rain till later. Have either of you heard anything about a piece of paper that's going around? What piece of paper? I don't know. At the gaggle, Dave Trillin asked what I knew about a piece of paper that's going around. Maybe from the campaign. I haven't heard anything. Me either. Let's find out. That's good advice, Toby. We're in the second floor auditorium in the OEOB. Are they moving people inside? The people are there. They moved them 20 minutes ago. Why? The weather report said it was going to rain. It did? Is it possible, First Lieutenant Emily Longbrow's yanking me around? Where's the president? He's already over there. How's his mood today? We had breakfast. He seemed very upbeat, very energetic, very optimistic about the day. How long do you suppose that's going to last? Can we get this godforsaken event over with so I can get back to presiding over a civilization gone to hell in a handcart? Nice talk for a president. Leave me alone. You know what this is, don't you, sir? What? What is? Your mood, sir. Nothing wrong with my mood. It's your diet. Will you get off me with that? You don't get enough roughage in your diet. You know I'm right about that. I know I'd like to beat you senseless with a head of cabbage. I know that for damn sure. Once again, you display an immaturity about vegetables that I think is never at all presidential. Charlie, does somebody have my remarks? Sam's bringing them, Mr. President. Is Toby on his way? Yes, sir. CJ? Yes, sir. Why aren't they here right now? They didn't know that it was raining, sir. Nothing like surrounding yourself with the best and the brightest, Charlie. Morning, sir. Morning, Mr. President. Morning, sir. Hello. How are you, sir? You didn't know it was raining? To our credit, sir, we knew it was raining once it started to rain. Okay. Here are your marks, sir. A couple of things. Uh, who am I going to be talking to now? The United Organization of Trout Fishermen. No, seriously, sir. No. Give me the damn speech. Some very nice anecdotes in there about trout fishing. Have I ever been trout fishing? Probably not. Okay. Good morning, Mr. President. What's going on, Josh? The CBO is going to revise its out-year projections. Two commissioners resigned from the FEC this morning, and the NGA endorsed trigger locks. How much? The projections? Yeah. Uh, maybe 200 billion? Hang on. Two FEC commissioners resigned? Yes, sir. There are two seats open on the FEC. Yeah, sir. This is interesting. Sir, this is not the world's best time to go off on the flight of idealistic. Leo, two seats just opened up on the Federal Election Commission. And the Senate leadership will fill them. I'm saying, what if this time we say we want our guys? We won't win. Yeah, but we can dangle our feet in the water. It's not a good idea, sir. Josh, listen. Mr. President, you're thinking about changing the nature of democracy. I'm talking about dangling our feet in the water. Josh, get Leo two candidates who back aggressive campaign finance reform. Sir, I, I got to stand with Leo on this. I'm I think not that... saying jump off the boat, Josh. I'm saying dangle our feet. Yes, sir. Mr. President? Yes. Somebody. United Organization of Trout Fishermen. Thank you. You're going to concentrate on this now, or is your head going to be in changing the nature of democracy? No, I'm definitely going to be thinking about the trout fishermen, Leo, because that's where my focus should be. You were in a better mood an hour ago, Mr. President. I was President. in a better mood a year ago, Leo. Does anybody know anything about a piece of paper that's been going around? What piece of paper? I don't know. CJ, are you taller than you usually are? No, sir, I'm my usual height. Okay. Here we go. Couldn't pick a trout out of a police lineup, by the way. Focus. Two federal election seats open on the same day. You can dream all you want, Josh, but you're dead in the water. It's never going to happen. That's what I thought, too, but after your little pep talk just now. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. Thank you. Sam? Damn it. What? I forgot to do something. As I look out over this magnificent vista, 